Hey beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee Today and today is Foundation Friday so I went back to the drugstore and got you some affordable foundation. So this is the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This little guy right here, you do get one fluid ounce of foundation, just like pretty much every foundation I've ever reviewed. It's only $5.99, so that's an amazing price, and I got mine from Walgreens. This foundation does come in a total of 20 shades. I'm the color Caramel, and there's five shades darker than my skin tone. Obviously, could be better, but at least there's not just one. So the big claim on this photo focus that they're really focusing on the photo taking aspect because they know all we do is take selfies all day long. So literally on the back of the package it says goodbye photo flashback. Flashback is when you take a picture with flash and then your face just looks so blown out and like white and powdery and you just look like pretty much like Casper the friendly ghost and that's not what we want to look like. So this is claiming to help eliminate white particle reflection. Since I got the Wet n Wild foundation, I also got the Wet n Wild primer I'll also be trying today. This is their face primer, Matte Matte. And it's supposed to be lightweight formula, refine the appearance of pores, and help smooth skin for even makeup application. So without further ado, let me show you exactly how I applied both of these products to my face. Starting on a moisturized face, I'm going to actually stay in the Wet n Wild family. I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer, Matte Matte. Don't know why the redundancy of the math math, but let's go ahead and try it. I do like how creamy this is. It really spreads nicely. I have some primers I have to use a lot to really cover my whole face. This is doing a very nice job. We'll see how that does. Now I'm going to grab the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is the color Caramel. So I'm gonna go ahead and shake it up. And let's see, has a twist top. Oh, so it has this kind of interesting plastic applicator. Don't know if I'm supposed to paint my face with this. I don't know. I'm just gonna put it right on my beauty blender because I don't wanna paint my face with this little spatula. So now I'm gonna apply the foundation. We're gonna see how much coverage this gets. I really like a foundation with good coverage. If only my skin wasn't flawless, I'd be able to show you like some scars to cover. Oh, oh wait, I have some right here. Yeah, I guess I could use those. a weird smell. It smells like almonds. Like paint and almonds. That's interesting. So here's the final application of just the foundation all on its own. I'm pretty happy with it right now, but let me go ahead and put on the rest of my face. Much better. So now I have my full face on. I'm very happy with the current results. I am very matte. I like the color. I got me some good coverage. So let's go ahead and do this little camera flash test that they're talking about. So let me get my camera. Let me take a little selfie. I've never taken a selfie before. This is the first time. <laughs> so I'm actually gonna turn off my lights. Don't be scared. If you're afraid of the dark, it's gonna get, it's gonna get dark just for a second. Don't worry. Now I'm gonna take my picture, you know, with the flash. Ooh, bright. So here's my picture in the dark with the flash, and here's my picture with the light with the flash. If anything, I feel like my highlight is standing out more than the actual foundation, but for right now, the foundation does check out. I do not look all white and Caspery. Now, although I'm happy with the foundation application right now, as some of you may know, my main test is to see how long the foundation will last on my skin over time. I have very oily skin, so it is currently 12 p.m. So I'm going to wear this foundation all day long, then I'll come back at the end of the day to see how well it held up. And I'm back, it is now 9 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of nine hours. And this is where we are. So, 
not too bad. I am shiny, where I always get shiny, right around here. But, let me get a little closer for you guys. Uh, it's starting to lift right around here. I feel like the foundation here might come off, but overall, I'm actually pretty impressed, especially for $5. So at this point, I like to grab my oil absorbing sheets. These are by Clean and Clear. You can get any brand you want. And these are my oil absorbing sheets that are going to let me know how oily I really am. So take a good look at it, okay, before, and I'm just going to press it on here. Oh yeah, see, Wah. yep. So just like I thought, some of the actual foundation came off and it's not really supposed to, just the oil is supposed to come off. But let's see how I look. So here is all the oil that I got from this foundation, you do see some of the foundation came off here as well. So overall, looking at my face right now, I'm very happy with this foundation. It got me great coverage, I'm happy with the color, and after nine hours of wear, I was able to blot and still get it back to a matte finish. If you have tried either of these foundations, I want to know your opinion, so please leave me a comment. Did this work for you? Do you have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin? Are you looking for more affordable products? Do you like how it turned out? Let me know all your thoughts below in the comments. I will definitely be using both the Matte Matte Photo Focus Primer and the Photo Focus Foundation throughout the rest of the week. So if you want to see me use this foundation with a different primer or this primer with a different foundation, you gotta follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. That way you get all the exclusive behind the scenes. And, hello, I gave you all this free information. The least you could do is push that subscribe button, right? I post two new videos every week once on Friday and once on Sunday. So hit the subscribe button and the bell so you're notified as soon as I post a new video. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.